what do you think drives uh, the, the the way the Arab leaders have responded to this? I think the Arab leaders are going to be the victims of this current genocide that's taking place in Gaza, simply because uh, they have not been able to live up to the to their responsibilities. Some of them have been actually supportive of the Israelis in one way or another, and that's very dangerous because, on long run, again, their people are going not to forget that. And this will add to the failure of the current Arab regimes, most of them, in even delivering goods to, the, to, to, to their citizens. So we have economic failures, we have civil wars, we have also lack of legitimacy because the democratic, democratic transformation never been allowed to happen in the Arab world. And now we have this. Arab regimes, some of them will pay heavy price for this. People will never forget. This is very sensitive to the people uh, in the region. So uh, the West always deal with leaders. And leaders in our part of the world are obsessed by the concept of preserving their own personal uh, power by staying on, on their seats. But uh, people have other priorities. And these priorities will be manifested uh, once there is a chance for people to express their opinion and to move from being observers and silently angry into becoming active. And I think that wave of anger might uh, happen. And I think the current genocide is going to be one of the major triggers of that wave.